Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are watching my content. Welcome back to Let's Play Death Knight. Um, where we left off, I do believe we were headed basically into Steps of Torment. So let's go up to Twin Falls. And see what we do. See how well we do. Um, so... Um... Oh, well, that knocked him down. That was rather nice, so... Um... That skill's not ready. Since we, uh... I played last, I have realized a couple things. I was using this. Can't do that yet. As a strike. And it's not really good. Well, that won't work either, so. Alright. Anyway, let's go up this way and see what we can find. Um, what I've been using is Drain Essence as a strike, and it's not. It's a channel skill, so um, it's not a good idea. So I can channel it like that and kill stuff. I can channel it basically until my uh, Force Wave comes off cooldown. So, we'll see how that works. Uh, I do believe I've gotten a... I believe I've gotten a... Oh, we have a totem over here. So we're definitely going to go do the totem up here. Okay. Get out of that. Ooh, yeah, that hurts. If I keep standing and stuff, I'm gonna die. I'm out of energy. Hmm, that's interesting. Well, yep. Alright, so we don't want to stand on that. I don't have enough energy. Now that was interesting. So, let's see here. First of all, let's pick up the gear. And apparently, I can run myself completely dry on energy on this one. Really? Come on, pick up the gear. So, um, yeah. So, we need to definitely, uh... Drink an energy potion. We may have to rethink our strategy for using... Drain Essence. So, we'll have to see. Might have to go to Kate's or something. Or do shorter bursts on the... Maybe that's it. Y'all have any, uh... Suggestions? Put them in the comments down below. Should I keep... Should I keep the Drain Essence as a channel skill? Or should I, uh... Should I, uh... Maybe not. I don't know. Well... well I've already gotten that, so that doesn't go good. So, if, uh... Y'all tell me what y'all think. Um, should I, should I keep it as a... Channel skill? Or should I just, uh... 
swap it out for, say, Cadence or one of the other skills that I have, so. I wouldn't notice this is draining my, uh, energy rather quickly. I don't know what to do, so. I am automatically casting. All right, we're going into the Steps of Torment here. I don't know if we're going to do the whole thing. We're going to do as much as we can of it. So I'm paying a little bit more attention to the to the time on these. So anyway, any ideas? Any? If y'all played this game, if y'all played Grim Dawn, then please let me know what y'all think. Should I? Uh, Should I change it out for a, um, say, Cadence, or should I try to go with something else? Um, I really don't know. Uh, it's eating a ton of energy. So... Or should I reserve it for just bosses or something like that? That's interesting. Um, yeah, I, I learned about I, I learned about it being a channel skill after I filmed uh, after I recorded the uh, the last episode that I had for Let's Play Death Night. I uh, was fixing to log off of the two, and I. Uh, used it as a strike and realized I had accidentally uh, stayed on of it too long, held it too long. So, and that's how I just, that's how I discovered it. So, uh, again, I don't know what to do. I mean, it works really good for skeletons. But I sure can drain a cred ton of, uh, I'm having to use uh, energy potions like nothing. So, huh. I can use the um, left click. It'll hit for me and then just automatically uh, pop force wave when I... Uh, um... When it's that time for me to use it, like there, I didn't mean to use it, it just automatically did it, so. So. I don't know what to do. Um, please, all right, there's an elite here. I can't do that yet. Let's see how well it works on it. Not very good. Papa. I can't see that. Well, I had to pop not only an energy potion, but a health potion. So, again, I'm not very impressed with this. It would be nice for, say, a caster build, but I don't know how well it is for a, a melee build. I don't know. Maybe I need to just increase the maybe I need to increase it um it's all not doing very much in the way of damage and even when I use this it doesn't do much damage I don't know hmm Not ready. 
So, anyway. See, I force wave it, cast it when I don't want it to most of the time. So, again, I don't know what to do. Anyhow, let's continue on. Um, I got second. Oh, there it goes again. Let's go out here. I always do this. Um, this was showed to me earlier. Uh, it was one of the first things I did. Once you get to this point in Step Storm, you come out here and talk to this guy. Accept his quest. I will do what you ask. He wants you to kill his daughter who's been turned into a harpy. And then you come out here and grab the Broken Hills gate. Rift gate. And then walk back in. So... Saves you a little time. You can teleport directly out here or go directly back into the... to wherever you need to be at. So... It's actually a pretty... Uh, not pretty easy, but... Uh, a nice way of handling things. It's a nice way of uh, making sure that uh, that skill's not ready. Oh, what am I saying? It's a nice way of uh, making sure you don't get stuck in here because the way it's set up you might get stuck into this. Uh, is uh, done after this dungeon, the Steps of Torment, then um, you can literally get stuck in here. Because in the Skeleton Key Dungeon, um, or in the, the dungeon right below the Steps of Torment, you actually can't teleport out because you're a uh, Because you're, um, your uh, portal here, your rift travel portal doesn't work. So, if you, um, if you get to that point and you need to do whatever you need to do, okay, get out of that. You're sort of stuck running back through stuff. a lot of streamers and a lot of other YouTubers that do. Not Let me kill these guys. What I noticed them do is this. Nah. And then run around. Well, first of all, that drives me nuts, so I try not to do this. So, I try not to do it very well. So if I've done all that, then um, I apologize. I can't do that. I don't want to do that. So, all right, we picked up last days of Arcovia and Relic Glacier. I've already learned it. Why do I have a... Okay, yeah. 
what does that say? It says we need to. Yeah, you know, I have to get past that. That's a ways away. Okay. All right, we're doing all right. We're doing all right so far. into uh, down here I ran into a uh, a uh, enemy that reflects damage on my occultist and my occultist is a uh, oh, what do you want is a poison build I'm running an occultist poison build I'm following another video from arcade life like I'm doing on uh, the commando build I'll go over and check that out. I just got a new playlist. I've just started a new uh, uh, thing that I'm doing for um, a series like this, Death Knight. Um, I have a Let's Play Commando Hardcore. Go see if he actually dies. Don't know if or when he'll die or how he'll die. So, if so, I'll still broadcast it. I have no qualms at doing that. So, yeah, y'all go over and check out my uh, new uh, Let's Play Commando build. And uh, we'll get it all figured out. Oh, we have another totem over here somewhere. We gotta find it. Um, so, yeah, go check all that out, and you'll see my other things. If you have any suggestions about what else I need to do here, or how I need to yeah, well, there's a reflecting guy. There's one guy you're running to. You see the, uh... You see the little spikes around that guy? The little, right there? You see that? That's that guy is a reflect it. damage skill. And you will see, when I hit him, and he's got those spikes going, he does damage to me. All right. My energy is low. Oh, well, there is another one. Oh. Did I have two leads there? I have to relook at the video. I have to relook at the video. I think I had two elites there, but I'm not sure. I was coming over here to get, uh... That skill's not ready. And speaking of two elites, there's another elite here. This is one of the ones I'm supposed to have, uh... For the questing over here, if you look over here. That's Ludos. Laudos. Ludos. Not ready. Energy is low. Well, he's pretty much pretty tough on this death knight. I know I won't be able to beat Alchemos at this rate, so there is really no reason for me to. All right, that's two. That was L A U D O S Lotus Farga. Now, Rowena Kerr is the final boss of the dungeon, and, or not the final boss, it is the final boss of one of these levels, so. I don't have I am using energy potions like nothing. Forsaken Spirit Totem. So, 
Let's see how well I handled this one. Yeah, it's time to rethink the death knight, y'all. Not real impressed with the way he's kicking, but I'll have to go check the builds and see what I've got set up. I'll go from there. So, yeah. Alright, let's head out here and see if we can't find this uh, Ravina Kerr. We're definitely going to have to do a rebuild. Um, my question is, I need y'all to do me a favor. Put down in the comments that not whether you want to watch the rebuild or um, you'd rather me do it off screen where it's not actually a, where it's not actually a being showed on video. Some people don't mind watching that, some people don't. Some people do. So, that's... That skill's not ready. I, I don't know right off the top of my head. I don't know what you like, what you don't like, so... Please, leave it down in the comments. That skill's not ready. Thought for a minute that flame ribbon was another elite. Okay. Oh, there's a crumbling wall. Let's see what's in here. We have a metal strong box. Which dropped me nothing. I didn't. See. And we have ripped reeds. Check this out a little bit later. So, all right. Yeah, I can't use that right click very often. Look how slow my energy is coming back. It takes forever. Hope I didn't miss a box over there. Sometimes I do. Oh, hello. And there goes my energy. There she is. Can't do that. That's good. Imagination, she healed. I'm out of energy. That 
was interesting. Alright, he's firing at me. Oh, don't touch that right click button. Okay. Yeah, we're definitely respecking. Alright, who is? There he is. And I should get some pop-ups over here. Thought so. That skill's not good. Might swap over and get rid of Force Wave and go with Cadence. Think it's a better skill. Oh, if you're ever in here, if you put on this game and you don't know about this, there's a secret area down here. You can open it has chests sometimes that skill's not ready. it has chests which is one over here that's a hidden spoils chest really nice one and as you can see it's got one I got dynamite question is do I have dynamite on me I have three doing good so, let's use one. Let's see what we get. Blade Dancer's Talisman. Do I already know that one? Nope, level 35. Okay. That's interesting. It's a new... Alright, here. Alright. So we learned a new blueprint. That's nice. So, all right, next area. Can't do that. Yep. Don't hit the right click. Do not hit the right click. Let your uh, stuff build up. Watch it all bust out. Yeah, watch it all pop out of the ground here. That beggars as much. Alright. Let's see. Next level. Alright. Arcovian Undercity is this? Probably is. Yeah. This is the final boss. I don't know what his name is. We'll see it. Get off that. That skill's not ready. And I keep casting all that. And you can get off of that. That's it. Now, what do we do from here? First of all, we open this box down here. Yep. And since I am in this part of it, I can drop a portal. Which reminds me. The glacier, I already knew that one. So... Let's rearrange. Okay, that works. I don't have to worry about that there. All right. Let's pray we survive this. We'll see. Oh, get out of that! Oh, I'm gonna die here. 
And he drops that. So. Well, I am not doing very good here. That skill's not good. Well, and get out of that. Ow. That skill's not ready. And we are definitely getting out of that. Man, that stuff hurts. All this for. All this for that shrine point. Yeah, I hide from you. And get out of that. Yeah, come on, get out of that. That skill's not good. Oh, I survived. Son of a gun. We did well. Or we did alright. I don't say I can't say I did well. That was that fight was not pleasant. I think I woke up half the stuff that's in the thing here. So, all right, well, we cleared half the thing. All right. And offer. And there's a dev devotion point. I will put that in here in a little bit. Not right now. I'm going to finish clearing out this room. And there should be something over here. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Nope, there they are. All right. All right. So we got the shrine. All right. Where to now? Arcovian Undercity. No, we're not doing the Steps of Torment. We're doing Arcovian Undercity. I'm an idiot. Y'all forgive me. Thought we were doing Steps of Torment. All right. So, all right. I should be back on. Level one, yep. So let's warp, make our way out of here. Back to where we uh, are supposed to be. Back out the front, if I remember correctly. Well, that's nice, I leveled up. Um, I, I played around too much. Shouldn't kill all that, but... Alright, back out the front. Bring me back out to the... Old Arcovia. No, not back in. Alright, knucklehead. Watch where you click. Alright. Back up this way. Fire at me, would you? Um, is there a way? Nope. Apparently, there is absolutely no way for me to get there from there. Yep, that's blocked. So, I'm gonna run around all this stuff. As best I can. I don't turn it in here. I think I turn it in. Oh, wow. I don't even remember where I turn it in. No, I don't turn it in there. I can't do that yet. my energy. I can't do that. Yet. 
Well, that's interesting. My inventory Did I is full. Kill. I can't carry anymore. Well, I come over here to get this box. I didn't see them. All right. I'll do this. Go to old Arcovia here real quick. And clean out our bags. I'll give you a good price of what I've got left. Alright. Let's see what we got here. Before we do that, let's check something here. Alright. Force wave. Is doing a ton of physical, a little bit of pierce, and a little bit of vitality. Drain essence, all vitality. Uh, I don't have to worry about the web, that's added to it. So, so we're looking for physical, oh, make sure good. here. Soldier skills. Force wave is doing physical. That adds physical plus all damage. That adds internal trauma, which is a dot. That adds nothing. That adds nothing but physical, I think. Yeah, physical. Physical. Okay, that adds nothing. All this is shield stuff. Um, alright, field command. Doesn't add anything. Necro. That is vitality and aether damage. That we are gonna pull points out of. I don't think I'd like that. That does vitality damage. Vitality, Decay, and Cold. That's Aether Damage and Vitality. Huh. Alright, you know, we'll consider that. Aether Damage and stuff, and Cold. That's, that's Vitality, Decay, Damage, which is the dot. Alright. Alright. No, I'm not going to keep that. I am using, but that's not going to... That's damage to all retaliation. I actually have a build that needs that. Describe pressures. Overlord, Heart of Wrath. Elemental Frost. Nope. There's plus 15% vitality damage. Uh, I can't use the second right, so. Fire damage and elemental damage. No, I'm not doing any fire damage. That's physical damage. That's 18% physical damage. Four eighths of 14 aether. Um. No, I don't think about that. We're not using a two-handed weapon. I'm not using fire, but the vitality just busted the little vitality I'm doing. Uh, physical damage. Burn over three seconds. I'm not using any of that. None of that is useful. Chaos, poison, spirit. Not really. Not enough to get rid of my set pieces. Bonus to pets. That's on another character. One of these days I'll show you my pet build. So. Puncturing, uh, piercing damage, vitality damage, vitality K. Plus the spectral binding, which I'm using, I think. I believe so. Yep. Spectral binding. It's a two handed weapon, so I'm an idiot for paying attention to it. Oh. Oh, um, that's another retaliation thing I can use for my other two. I got two. A, a retaliation builds one on the hardcore, hardcore side, which is my commando build. Go check out that video. Um, and one on the normal side, which I am just experimenting with. So, all right, this is four cold damage. No, doesn't do me any good. Physical damage converted to vitality. Bonus style pets. No, thank you. Not good enough to replace my set piece 
Another two-handed. Like the damage has been no good. Shadow Strike and Range Expertise. Don't even know what spec stat use. Let's do piercing damage, though. How much piercing damage am I doing? Doing more vitality. Huh, but Shadow Strike and Range Expertise turned me no good, so these are all components. That is. Oh, okay. Let's see. Rune Carve Skull Fetish of the Sea. The War Master is giving me plus one to all soldier skills, which I'm not going to mess with right now. Um, yeah, let's sell it. Stays of Arcovia. Alright, my boots are giving me 16% physical damage and 15% internal trauma. Uh, this is not worth it. Um, acid, vitality, nope, not buffing any of that right now. Vitality, not for the set piece. Boots, nope. Chest piece. Health. Cold resist, poison, and acid. Wow, really? Uh, wouldn't be too bad if I didn't have a set piece. Alright. Home of Mending. I'll say sell those. Alright. Spectral Wrath and Break Morale. That's actually worth something. Let's see. Let's see. It does give me plus 25% of both of the main skills I'm using. Internal trauma and internal. Hmm. Hmm. I'll look that over. Alright. Incorruptible Ribbon of Attack. Rare Metal. Poison and Astro Resist. No, mine is better for that. But this does give me Aether and Chaos Resist. No. I think I'll keep the one I got. Ring. Plus two to Force Wave. My only problem is Force Wave, unless you use a two-handed weapon, is not a spammable skill. Um, plus all damage, physical damage, internal trauma. I don't know about that. I'll think about it in a minute. Rare amulet. Another amulet. Um. No. Doesn't help me out. Belt. What I've got on the belt is plus the force wave, so I'll keep that belt. Um, frost damage, cold damage, frost burn. Nope, this is not a good for me. On my Reaper, that would have been a good thing. I didn't think about that. Um, Trojan Scout. Nope, doesn't doesn't work for my Reaper either. Necromancer's Moonstone. No. All right. Alright, I already know this, so we're going to sell it for 200 That's nice. Um, don't use offhands. Boots give me plus to bone harvest. Vitality damage and aether damage increase, but not by much. But they are better damage than the current one, but I don't think I'm going to lose a 15, 16% internal, or... 15% physical damage or the internal trauma. Let's sell those. Huh. Nothing. Elemental? Nope. Nope. I am not using a gun. Not using an offhand. I have the set piece for my main hand, don't I? Yeah. That's six. Nope. Don't use that. Um. Another two hand I don't think I can use. That's a retaliation damage thing. I'm going to save that for my retaliation build. Again, not using a gun. Matilda's. Nadala's. 
justifiable ends, merciless for patrol. That is combination Nightblade and Inquisitor, I think. I'm selling it. Thunderstruck. No, I don't need that. Now, that is a component. That is a potion. It's a component. So that bag, that bag is empty. Retaliation, retaliation, retaliation. Nope. Um. I'm not sure. I wonder. Let's see, does my damage go up? Weapon damage, 395. Yep, 409, yep. Alright. Let's see something here. Force wave. Alright, let's try that again. I already have force wave on there. I want to check out what happens to force wave. 42, 40, or 25, 24, 25. Alright, yep, that makes my. Alright. Let's go back to DC and Devil's Crossing and put all the components in the bank real quick and pull the stuff off and now that I've replaced one piece of gear. Don't know what I want to do. I wanted to do a got something you need stashed? Wanted to do a hmm, not good. This is retaliation gear from my retaliation guy. I will log on to him after I log off of this. Put all that on him. Gutworm's blood seal. Laceration. Circle of water. That's junk. I believe these are lore pieces, but I'll check them out in a minute. Alright. Put that back in there. Force wave. Skinner family seal. I'm gonna pull that off and put this blue ring on there. And I don't know. Nope. We're gonna sell these and pull the pull the component off of that. So, all right. Let's put the components, pull the components off these. That goes on the pants. And this goes on the ring. Go sell these two. I'll give you a good price of what I've got left. Put it to good use. And, yeah, there's, and there's that, and then there's that. All right, we leveled, so let's do this. Let's put two points in the physique. I do have six points. I leveled twice. I wasn't paying attention. All right.
Let's see how far we can get to the end of this. One, two, three. Put three there. And I think Siphon Souls is a AOE, but apparently I'm not sure. I might have to try it out and see what it is. So, all right. We're just going to leave it there. And I'll put those skill points I work in off. I don't think y'all want to watch me work with and or play with any of the stuff. So, let's go turn in this Royal Jelly Quest. I don't think y'all want to see me work with or play with skills to figure out what goes out. So, I will... Uh, Alright, yes, here it is. Alright, they give me Rover's Rep, Royal Jelly Bomb, and the recipe board. I don't think y'all want to watch me play around as a dummy to see where my damage is at. No, I don't have Grim Internals, which is uh, very well usual. I would enjoy something like that if it didn't interfere with my cloud saves on Steam. There's where I'm at currently at, ha have a problem with it. So, um, I think I already know this. Yeah. You see anything you like? See you My problem with Graham Internal is the fact that I can't save on the cloud on Steam. Um, now I can, I know that there's a way to do it, to actually make all the saves stand save strictly on my computer, which would be fine. Um, save with me. but, uh, y'all want to see what I. Real quick, like, you want to see what type of order I am? Alright, that's the first tab. That's the second tab. That's the third tab. And that's the fourth tab. All shared stash. Every coon only has their unshared stash. One tune. They don't have the second bag. I have more unshared stash. I'm a hoarder. Anyway. I don't think y'all want to watch me. Stand at a dummy and test my th test my skills um so put down in the comments what y'all like and what you don't like if y'all want to watch me stand at a dummy and test my skills out let me know um if you have any suggestions for my death knight build then again let me know um i uh will do all this off camera or off the recording so it doesn't mess with anything um so uh, so it doesn't bore you as much. Uh, back to Grim Internals. Uh, it's a wonderful little add-on. I do use an add-on, if you can always tell. You can tell I do use an add-on currently. I use the rainbow mods currently. You'll notice that each piece of gear has different colors of different things. So each one has a different here and different there. So um, find a green piece. Um, I'll give you a good price of what I've got left. So, yeah, you can see those are different. They're green. They don't have any of the things. Um, wow, really? I can't purchase that yet. All right. Um, so, yeah, you can see the different colors. See you Between that vendor and the vendors out front, I use the rainbow mods to help me out. Figure out from just looking at it what is worth keeping, what is not worth keeping. But it's a good use. Although I do inspect most of the gear, which you've seen already. So, um, I don't use Graham Internals because it messes with the Steam saves, or I, it won't work with the Steam saves. I wish it did. I would prefer a DPS meter on the, on this, this game. This is a beautiful, wonderful game, and with a ton of mods, and it kills me that they can't come up with a mod that works with Steam. You know, granted, here's where the problem runs into. This is an older game and nobody's playing it, or not as many people are playing it. So, anyway, I'm not going to bore you to death with my talk any longer. So, I will do a lot of different things off off uh, video uh, outside of the content, and then once I log back in, I will let you know what I did. So, like, share, and subscribe. If you're on YouTube, subscribe. If you're on uh, Rumble, then follow. And if you're on Odyssey, then follow also. Um, I have a new Twitter account. Start looking at my profile. Or start looking at the thing, the profile. Please check out the Twitter. Follow me on Twitter if you can. 
Um, I'll let you know uh, different things when they come out or before they come out. I'll give you a preview a little bit here and there. Something like that. So you all be ready for my videos. Um, so if you're on Rumble and if you're on Odyssey, that's fine. I have no problem with that. Those are different platforms. I figured I'd put on, on those in case there are people that didn't like YouTube. So that's fine. I got no problem with that. So um, y'all can support me there by follow, follow or do whatever. So um, right now, the best things that what I, that I would need are the ones, the things that I'd like to see. More people start commenting on my video. This is my Death Knight series. It's my most popular so far. I'm hoping my Commando also picks up in popularity or, uh, and does very well with uh, as well as this one does. People are watching this series. People, I hope, will start watching my Commando series. At least come back for my Commando series to see if I die because it is hardcore. So, And with the problems I'm having with this one, you never know. So, Anyway, like, share, subscribe, follow or and please leave a comment in at the in the video i read all my comments so i appreciate y'all watching my content and y'all have a good day now